Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. We're pleased to welcome back our good friend, Dr. Larry Nespoli, who is the president, New Jersey Council of County Colleges. Good to see you, Larry. Good morning. Now, you guys are involved in something very interesting. Um, how many colleges, by the way, are we talking? 19 community colleges, one in every county, about 400,000 students strong. It's a great success story in New Jersey. How many years have you been around? My, myself no, personally. No, not you. <laughs> no, I'm talking and, uh, about the county colleges. That wasn't a question I was expecting. Community colleges are creatures of the late 1960s, right. 1970s, so about 50 years. Okay, so, but there's a change here, a sea change, which is why we have you here. Well, also, uh, this is our one-on-one -on -one set, but we'll air this on Capital Report as well, because this is a public policy question as well. You are shifting from the two-year model, talk about to the baccalaureate side. Bachelor's degrees. Steve, we've chatted a number of times over the years, and I have to say uh, today, right now, I, I could not be more uh, excited and enthusiastic about this new message, the community college bachelor's degree. But let me set it up and take just a few seconds to do that, to tell the community college story. It's really three colleges in one. One, you want to get a bachelor's degree, go to your local community college, you can transfer. Two, if you want to entree to the job market more quickly, go to the local community college for a technical program, respiratory therapy, dental hygiene, uh, IT and computers, you can do that. And three, continuing education. Any one of us can take a couple of courses to improve our skills in the marketplace. So let's circle back to that first one now because mm. that's what I really am so excited to talk about. We think the time has come for community colleges to offer bachelor's degrees themselves. But push back in this way. We've had so many programs with you, Larry, with the four-year colleges, together with the community county colleges, partnering. You've had such a great partnering relationship where someone goes to the two-year college that may, for whatever reason, not have been able to go into the four-year situation. And then they've transitioned to the four-year school, and it's been seamless, it's been great, and now you're changing the model. We're tweaking the model. Okay, uh, and make the case. By, by the way, 20 some other states have done this. So well, this, they, well, hold on, 20 other states have a community college bachelor's degree. So this so is- New Jersey's not the first. Not, not, not by a stretch the first. So again, this is an idea whose time has come. So let's drill down just a, a little bit. You're right, the partnerships with our senior colleges, we. We cherish. We bring them to our campuses uh, so that students who uh, want to stay on our campus to get that junior and senior year, that's all good. And by the way, we're proud in New Jersey. We've passed legislation that guarantee that the credits of community college students are accepted. You graduate from a community college, you're guaranteed junior status. All good. You go from your sophomore to junior year, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Got by, it. by law. That's a big deal. Uh, but now there are cases where, we, and we'll talk maybe a little bit about nursing as an example, where the, the employers, the sure. hospitals in this case, they're now saying they, they want baccalaureate nurses. And we can do that, and here's something I want to get on the table right up front. For about $20,000 a year, we can offer the full four years. Now think about that. $20,000, not per year, for the four years. Twenty grand for the four years? That's right. Now, tell me what I'm missing here. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity and a pathway for students to an affordable bachelor's degree. But, but, wow, this is interesting because a lot of schools, 20 grand one year. That's right. 20 grand four years with a bachelor's degree. That's absolutely right. Go back to right. the nursing piece. Because uh, Stephen Rose uh, over at Passaic, we're, we're actually taping in Patterson, part of- One of our best. Yeah, Passaic uh, County. Um, he was actually with our sister program, the um, NJTV News, with Mary Alice Williams, talking about this exact subject because I believe the nursing baccalaureate degree is being offered at Passaic. Not yet. They or have it's proposed. not because it hasn't been hasn't been approved. By the way, That's how right. does this get approved? Well, in long story short, the Secretary of Higher Education in New Jersey gets to make that decision. And so the proposal from Passaic and a like proposal from Union County College are on the Secretary's desk. Not legislation, not the governor signing off, not executive order, but the head of higher ed in New Jersey. The current law provides this pathway for colleges, community colleges in this case, to make a request for a proposal that exceeds their, their mission, so to speak. Uh, in the same way that baccalaureate pro schools have gotten the secretary's approval mm -hmm. to offer a doctor program. Not, not the Dr. same, but similar. Doctor, what would it mean, in your opinion, to a whole range of students who right now may be having trouble. By the way, we're going to make sure we have some folks on the four-year side uh, give their perspective on this, on Capital Report, give them sure. an opportunity as well. What do you think it could mean 
to some students right now who are struggling on the affordability side? Well, we know factually that many community college students uh, uh, want the bachelor's degree, Let's continue to talk about nursing, uh, need that bachelor's degree, but for whatever reasons, they, they won't have, find the wherewithal to get to the senior college. Now, we've been in the nursing education business and have been doing it well for 40, 50 years. On the two-year side. On the two-year side, uh, with great success, but in response to the call from employers for the bachelor's degree, it's time to move on this. What would it mean in terms of the current infrastructure? I hate using that word on television because people think roads, bridges. No, that's not what I mean. The internal infrastructure, the staff infrastructure, the faculty infrastructure. Right now, the two-year community and county colleges are set up to be who you are. What would you have to do to have the infrastructure, the faculty, the staff, to gear up for the baccalaureate degree? Well, let's stick with nursing. Um, right now, we have the infrastructure uh, for the nursing clinical sites and the uh, teaching the, the nursing courses. So the junior and senior year that we are proposing to offer is largely, uh, there are some nursing courses, uh, community health, nursing leadership, uh, but it's largely gen ed. So by and large, the, the more expensive part, excuse me, general education courses, the psych and the social and so forth, we're already doing the toughest, most expensive start. But but, you know, with anything, Steve, uh, change comes slowly. And, and, and uh, my father was a trustee for some 30 years in Pennsylvania, a successful businessman, and he used to say over the holidays, Larry, why is it that uh, higher education folks, faculty administrators, while they tend to lean uh, in a more liberal direction, if you will, in their own politics, when it comes to their own business of higher ed, my goodness, they're arch conservatives. And, and he's, he's right. Uh, Translate that. We arch don't like changing the higher ed uh, model as a do you think as this an is about, industry. Aside from direct Larry, do you think this is ultimately on the four-year side? And again, we'll give those folks a chance to, to represent their point of view and look forward to that. Do you think it's that they just don't want the competition? Well, you'd have to ask them that question. You know, they are great partners of us, but, but you what know, do you mean by conservative, though? Well, it is changing the model of delivering a higher education services. So they're just saying it could stay the way it is, status quo. But I want to be clear. Community colleges have no interest in becoming a state college. We're not going to see community colleges offering bachelor's degrees in the traditional uh, arts and sciences, political science, a bachelor's in What else history, other than nursing, though? Technical programs, um, respiratory care, uh, culinary arts. Um, technical areas where we already are in that space and employers are now saying we want the bachelor's degree and so not we, psychology not psych not, not political science exactly exactly it's good to clarify that before i let you go uh you know you and i talk about leadership all the time um because you've been in a leadership position you're challenged dealing in the state legislature with other government officials and your colleagues let's say um in the years that you've been doing what you're doing uh, on the negotiating side let's just say the number one leadership lesson you learned about negotiating skills? Uh, negotiating skills and leadership at large, I would say uh, um, enthusiasm and, and, and energy. Bring enthusiasm and energy to the task. Uh, leaders have to be smart. All good leaders are smart. Uh, all good leaders work hard, are persistent to get to, get to the next step and ultimately the accomplishment of the goal. But uh, as I look around at the, the most accomplished leaders, uh, uh, those who bring energy and excitement, passion, if you will, to the task, that's a, that's a great leader. Compromise a good thing, bad thing? Well, you've got to meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah. We've got to learn that in New Jersey, don't we? Indeed. Dr. Larry Nespoli has been with us many times uh, teaching us about what's happening at the uh, two-year colleges, the community and county colleges, the president of the New Jersey Council of County Colleges. Larry, thanks so much. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. Thanks, Larry. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Bergen Community College, TD Bank, Kessler Foundation, MagnaCare, Johnson & Johnson, Cone Resnick, and by Adler Aphasia Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.